Capricorn. Da da da. Capricorn. Oh my fucking god. Okay, whatever. <laughs> How are you doing, fellow Capricorns? It's time for our reading for May of this current year. Is it bad that I tell everybody that I'm a Capricorn? Because I feel like that's like a, a, a warning label. Like it needs to be. Some of you are ready for love, whether it's new love or you're ready to open yourself up to love or maybe you're wanting to apologize to somebody, which you're not. Because someone better come to us with this. Like, fuck that. But it's here. This cup is here. Your cup is full. It's ready to um do whatever the fuck it is you want it to do. You're definitely looking for romance, love, entanglement, <clears throat> attachment to somebody. Hopefully not enmeshment, right? Ready to make an offer but after you've been out in the cold for so long, right? Or maybe you're expecting an offer from somebody who was left out in the cold. It could be either or. Okay, so. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus as always. If you want a personal reading, my email, my Instagram, and my Facebook page are all down below. All easily attainable, all easily hittable, all easily smack that out on the floor, you know, but not in that way because I'm married, right? Just like tunes wise, right? got the four of cups right here jesus okay well that's that's like default position <laughs> like, I, like i don't know a capricorn that doesn't um mope about something that's happened in the past or have some grief or loss right but there's definitely that there i'm also gonna be doing a live stream tonight hopefully these videos will go up um before i do the live stream it'll be like seven eight o'clock eastern time so Prepare thine selves, possibly thy anus, right? Let's see. No whammies. All right. Let's rest of the cards. Six of cups reverse. You probably, like, are you trying to call someone back in from the past? Don't do that shit. Leave that shit where the fuck it is. That is not even necessary. Uh, six of pentacles reverse and the fears of rejection stuff. Who's this shadow person? Oh god, I better not. <laughs> uh, sacred Clown or the Fool re right here. I'm going to say reverse, but it's not. It's upright. Definitely want to take a journey in your situation. The sun reverse and the obstacles and challenges coming against you. Two of Cups is the catalyst as well as the final result. The beginning and the end. What brought this thing full circle to begin with? The Tower, Capricorns. Didn't I tell you all to fuck around accordingly in the Shadow of Judgment? Because I'm pretty sure I did. Because the tower is here. You're about to sit there and witness some shit happen, possibly. Maybe. Or this could be for cross watchers, too. So keep that in mind. Cross watchers, you fuck around accordingly, too. Because if you don't, shit might go down. And I really know I'm not in this, but it's just kind of like. Whatever. I'm probably in the right vibration now. I was vibing more with, like, Aquarius than anything. Oh, this. Ew, there's four. You have an idea on how to get out of this shit because it's been putting pressure on you? And you need to figure out your options on what makes you happy with the sun to keep it upright. Right? Because the sun is down here reversed. There's two people involved with the sun. So anyway, four of cups, you're feeling lost. You're feeling um, grief. You're feeling all of that horrible shit, possibly because you lost control of something. Or you're dealing with an Aries or just somebody who is a controlling person. You feel like there's a lot of grief. There's a lot of uh, almost abandonment. You're definitely questioning some of your beliefs in here. And I feel like it's because you lost some sort of control or something that just didn't happen in your favor. Could be that, like you tried to get away with some shit too and it just didn't work for you sacred clown right here a new adventure going on a brand new adventure with the fool right here trying a brand new adventure and you're not offering anything could totally be you could totally be um taurus or virgo but there's a new adventure coming up and you're just not offering anything either towards it or you're too busy getting ready for this adventure to offer any of your pentacles to anybody. 
Like, th this offer is completely stalled because it's like you're ready to go somewhere. You're ready to do something new. Um, Six of Cups Reverse. It's like you're looking at something from the past and taking it to the future to learn, like lessons learned from the past. Oh, what the fuck? Double Energy, Six of Cups Reverse. And this one represents trauma. Possibly childhood trauma. Who's childhood? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, this is somebody who, um... You're wanting to take all the shit that's fucked with you in the past and use it for future reference. Now, a lot of people say that Capricorns don't, won't forgive you for nothing. That's not true. Capricorn will forgive you for anything. The problem is you're expecting us to forget. Which does not happen. Like Capricorns, when it comes to the people who fuck us over, we get the memory of fucking elephants. We remember things very distinctly about people. And people who fuck us over have a very special place in our heart called this is where you belong when you're a trash panda. Right? Like, forgiveness is not a problem with the Capricorn. It's the memory. And I feel like the memory is definitely playing something here. You're taking something that happened in the past that probably did wrong to you. And you're using it in reference to the future. Hmm. Like a peacock, right? I don't even give a shit. But yeah, it's like something back in the day happened. What you're wanting to do is to take that and implement it into the future, which I'm not sure what that means. It's like, it's almost like something's coming back. And you gotta sit there and, 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 and be like, this is what this bitch did. I'm going to clap my hands to everything I say because I know it annoys that bitch. You know, it's almost like you're kind of doing that because it's like you're you're taking things that you know that happened and things that have happened that you know about and you're just sticking it right in front of you and be like, whoa, wait a minute, hold on. One of these shapes is not like the other. Something's not fitting here. Something doesn't correct. This doesn't go here. This doesn't do that. It's like you're trying to make things fit into other cups. Like those little doll things, right? Like... The big one, you know, has little ones into it. You remember that. And it's like, as you're moving forward, you're remembering the exact order of how those cups went. And you're taking one and being like, okay, this is the smallest one. It goes in here. This one here. This one goes in this. It's like you're piecing everything together. Um, to make the right choice for the future. Because they both talk about the future. Um, this one just talks more about childhood trauma. Trauma from the past. Something that really fucked you up. We got the obstacle and the challenge below you. Which is possibly Leo's card. I'm really having like... A lot of pressure. You're trying to get out of the pressure. Uh, uh, of dealing with your emotions. That's causing a lot of mental shit. Like it's like you're so worried about like... It is like you are so mentally fucked in the head and your emotions are not helping you, but you're trying to use your emotions to gauge. Like, that's what the Six of Cups is for. It's like it's like you're under pressure, but the moon's trying to pull you out of the window away from falling up to this. It's like they're coming down, and the only way out is to let the moon tell you where to go. Like, that intuition, that thing, which is really fucked up, because, like, you know, Capricorns tend to be men emotionally unstable, and we try to restrict our emotions for specific reasons, because they tend to leave us like this, but in this case, it's like you're using your emotions to get out of this. You're using your emotions to get you out of the window, so these things don't come down on you so quickly. Because you know it's not going to make you happy. You have It's like you have to use your emotions. It's like, use your rage. <laughs> use your anger to tell you whether or not you're being pressured or not. Up here, Six of Pentacles and the Fears and Rejections, right? Someone's getting a bunch of blessings, but there's somebody here in the background. Someone is getting blessed heavily. While well, somebody is in the background being like, but what about me? And it's like... Something to do with your happiness. The sun, once again, Leo's card. Two people. It's like one person's getting the blessing and the other person isn't. And it's like, they're noticing this. This is the fears and rejection. So it's just kind of like... 
It's like you're afraid someone's watching you. And they want to be part of it. Because there's two people here. Like this totem cat person is like the god or whatever that's bestowing whatever. And they might be bestowing that upon you. But someone just looks at it like that's not fair. I want that too. Um, maybe I should come back. Leave shit in the past, please. For the love of God, for all of us. Don't go dwelling in the past. I know we have a habit of doing that, Capricorns. This is now not the time. Please don't do that. That is a horrible idea. That's, uh, that is why the tower is right fucking here. Don't you be going back to the fucking past. Don't you do it. Don't you do, don't you do it. I know it's tempting, but please don't do it. Because it's like... If you have to use your emotions to figure things out instead of your fucking brain, that's a problem. Because that means we are the least emotional motherfuckers around, and that is, like, danger. Like, danger, Will Robinson, you know? It's like... Like, I understand using your intuition with your emotions, but it's just kind of like, that's a really dangerous thing for Capricorns, because, like, once we get in our emotions, like... That's like getting blood on your face in a fight and then people expecting you to stop. You're not going to stop. I already got blood on my face and it's ruined my shirt. I might as well just keep going. It's like that, right? It's like, don't let your emotions overwhelm you to the point where it makes you lose who you fucking are, I think. This is about you. This is not about this person who is expecting shit from you. This is about you and you need to figure out how to get the fuck out of this environment that's causing you a bunch of drama. Um... Damn. Yeah. Trauma. I, I just, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's got you still kerflunkled in your head. You're trying to use your emotions to figure it out, and it's like, it's too much pressure. Two of Cups. The start and the beginning of the cycle, the beginning and the end. I know, Kite. Yeah. Um, commitment. This relationship broke up because of commitment. Possibly marriage. What? What the fuck does that even mean? The two people split up because one of them got married or some shit? Or they just decided they just didn't work together anymore? And that's why that person's just sitting there like, I want this totem cat with the stump legs to bless me too? Or religion is what caused somebody um, to break up with another person. Because um, apparently someone not letting shit die the way it, pro they, it, it probably should is what's drawing the tower. Like someone not changing their ways. Someone not like letting something die like it's supposed to. That's what will cause the tower to come. Um, leave that shit behind. Do not go for that shit. Just count your blessings. Forgive them, move on, don't bring them up again, don't say hello, don't look at them across the street, act like you're fucking, get a dog, put a thing on them, pretend you're blind, walk the fuck away. That is what I'm getting in this. Cross watchers, um, same shit with you, walk the fuck away, because who knows what the fuck is all is coming out here, because that's, this is like actually, yeah, it, nothing's coming out, it's just, Okay, there it goes. There we go. Yeah, um... Yeah, walk away from this and, and, and fulfill your cup somewhere else. Because you have your back... I think it's better you have your back turned to all of this. He's got his back turned to all of it. Take your emotions and give them to somebody who wants them, right? Because your home is happy the way it is. Or maybe this is all the shit that's happening behind your home. And that's why it's a problem, but honestly, I don't think so, Capricorns. I think this is what you want. I think you want a new relationship with someone. I think you're going to walk away and get with someone who actually gives a fuck about you. That open door, four of cups, those two people who fit together perfectly. Or is that what you're walking away from? That person who you've been connected to? God damn it. Okay, yeah. Turn your fucking back to it. Don't, 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 don't. I'm giving you a warning. I will give you the harshest warning ever. Don't fuck do it. Don't do it. I don't give a fuck how much, I don't give a damn how much you love somebody. Love is not something that is a good, love 
is not a good enough excuse to put up with somebody all over again. Like, they are an ex, and that is why the, the word next has X in it, you know? you need. I think you need to turn your back away from this relationship. It doesn't matter if you two match each other. I don't care if the door is open. Go to a different fucking door. Go out the damn window. Go in the basement and crawl out the cellar door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I really feel like this person might just try to chase you around to get blood out of a dead tree they've already sucked shit out of because they don't really know what to do with themselves. At all. Yeah, this person who's like being very immature and childish and ignorant about like not offering a cup for the right reasons if they do come up and offer a cup it's all bullshit it is all bullshit and all they're doing is coming to see what else they can get for you because this direction where the two of pentacles is pointing this direction where the tower and them not being able to let go of shit and crossbusters is the same thing for you this person right here who's offering bullshit in order to get whatever they can out of your goddamn pentacles over here because those two cards are facing they're facing this direction where the tower is where somebody will not change their fucking ways someone will not let something die capricorns you need to tell this person like it doesn't matter You're not obligated to be nice to anybody. You know that old rule, like, treat people how you want to be treated? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. And I'm pretty sure I've told you guys this before. Treat people how they treat and treated you. You do not have to be nice to a motherfucker who's only coming around to you to just get something from you. Because if that was the case, like, they would have been fucking changed already, and they're not. They're just sitting there. They still got this one lingering, and they're trying to birth something new, I feel like, with you. And that's, like, the illusion. That's the tower. So keep that in mind fuck all kinds of duck walk away walk away walk away from this fucking door this is not a door you want to walk through okay I think that was the meanest I've been to you guys but I'm actually being really really nice so just keep that in mind but like you know for me I, I, I don't give a fuck how much I love somebody like just because I love somebody does not mean that it's going to work that does not mean it's just going to be, like, another endless cycle. Like, eh, fuck love. Love is just an instrument that people use in order to, um... Manipulate. <sighs> Take care, Capricorns. Hopefully I'll get to see you guys this evening for the live stream. If not, it's probably because I pissed y'all off. But that's okay, because that's gonna happen anyway. You guys take it easy. Bye-bye.